for Norway here today in Poland. Thomas Hecken in the A final. He's had a great weekend here in Slomczyn. And on the front row, the Gurid, Davy Genet with Sverre Isaksen, but it is Sverre who gets the drop on everyone into the first bend on the outside stick. Ola Forfidsen, the way this works is Sverre Isaksen got to finish either first or second, and he will be European champ by the end of today. We're on board with Frodo Holter having an absolute battle. That's Thomas Heckenden, I think, through all the dust in front of him. Davy Genet is in second place. And look at that, Frodo goes up the inside of Thomas Heckenden and uh, on board with Frodo. Well, you can see Froda steering away, but the car not going round the corner. He's getting bumped and banged all over the place. I think the steering's gone on the Volvo. Tanner Faust comes past him into second place, and yep, Froda Holter is pulling up. Oh, it looked like he was going on his joker lap. He's not. He's just retired off to the side of the circuit. So that's the end of his weekend here in Slomczyn. David Genet, by the looks of it, going to be taking Sverre Isaacson. Oh, what a move from Sverre. Just manages to have enough horsepower and speed to close the door on the Frenchman. David Genet not giving the uh, prospective champ any room whatsoever. And after a horrible weekend so far, Tanner Faust is in third place. That's why you just never know what to expect with Rallycross. When it comes to the A-file, anything goes. So Tanner goes on his joker lap right now. David Genet still trying to catch Sverre Isaacson. But if Sferris finishes here or in second place, he will be the champ at the end of this race. Thomas Heckenden, uh, I think Thomas is in fourth place. It's very hard to tell with the fact they're all going on their joke laps and diving all over the place. But again, Thomas has had another great, great weekend here in Poland. The dust is just horrendous. You can hardly see anything at all. Sfera goes wide. Can David Genet do it this time? Nope. Sfera closes the door one more time. David Genet trying to come at him round the inside. And knowing Sfera Isaacson, he's probably loving this. He likes nothing more than a good battle for the lead and stiff competition. He's definitely getting it from the Frenchman this time round. So, Sfera has taken his joker lap. Davy Genet hasn't. Davy Genet now takes over the lead, almost by default, actually. Can Davy get enough speed, get round the joker lap and get out in front of the big guy from Norway? But Sfera Isaksen only needs to finish second or better. I say only. Everybody else in the field would take that, to be honest with you. So, Davy Genet goes round. There is Sfera Isaksen. Who's in third place? It's still Tanner with Thomas Heckenden from Finland right behind him. Great on-board view with Thomas Heckenden. Trying to take that third place away from Tanner Faust. And there went Davy Genet on his joker lap. Not good enough. Sverre Isaksen still carrying all the speed and the advantage into the last few corners. And Davy Genet looking at it by the looks of it on that corner, slowing up an awful lot. Sverre now has a huge lead over the Frenchman. And Tanner Faust and Thomas Hecken all of a sudden didn't think they were going to get anywhere near the Frenchman, but they now have him in their sights. Is Davy Genet still going? He is. Well, whatever that problem was, it must it looked like he sort of missed a gear on the corner or something simple like that because he hasn't slowed down now. He's still going very, very well indeed. But no one here today in Poland is as good as this man. Sverre Isaksen from Norway. Only got a couple more corners to go, and he will be European champ once again. He celebrates in the car over the line. It's three for three.